Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about the polymerization technique. Okay, there are many polymerization technique out of which we will be studying only seven polymerization technique. Okay, these uh, classification of uh, polymerization technique is actually uh, based on the different method of their preparations. Okay, you can see in the screen, the first one is the bulk polymerization. The next one is the solution polymerization. And then you have suspension polymerization, then emulsion polymerization. Okay, these four is there, no? That is for the addition polymers, okay? So, these fours are in order to get the addition polymers, we will be following these four uh, techniques, okay? While these three techniques is there, no? That is melt polycondensation, solution polycondensation, interfacial polycondensation, these are for your condensation polymers okay if you want to get the condensation polymers these methods are used okay this is for what addition polymers okay now in this video we will be studying the first one okay that is this one okay bulk polymerization okay we will study in uh, complete what is the bulk polymerization and uh, how the polymers are uh, uh, prepared using bulk polymerization technique okay while uh, the other six techniques this and this we will study one by one in the later videos okay so now we will study about what bulk polymerization okay bulk polymerization this bulk polymerization is uh, the bulk polymerization can also be termed as a mass polymerization technique okay the bulk polymerization can also be termed as what mass polymerization technique okay in this you will be having a beaker okay just imagine this is a beaker and inside this imagine you have a your monomer okay you will be having monomer inside this beaker remember the monomer here is in the liquid state okay you have to choose a monomer which is in the liquid state or uh, uh, in the sol um, you know liquid form it means if you want to uh, uh, carry out polymerization of solid monomer then this technique is not useful okay only if it, the monomer is in the liquid form then it is useful otherwise not Okay, that is also one of the drawback of bulk polymerization. Next, what you need to do is you need to add initiator. Okay, to this beaker containing monomer which is in the liquid state, you will be adding the initiator. Remember, whatever the initiator you have added, no, that is soluble in the monomer. Okay, it should be a monomer soluble. Okay, if the uh, uh, initiator is not soluble in a monomer, then it is of no use. The initiator must be soluble in the monomer. Okay, then what you do after adding initiator, you have to, then you have to initiate the reaction. Okay, you have a monomer which is in the liquid state and you have initiator in here, right? So, you need to, uh, you know, pass the radiation or you can pass the heat okay heat or radiation should be applied so that uh, uh, you know initiator get activated means initiator will dissociate to give the free radical once the free radical is generated it can attack the monomer or the reaction between initiator and monomer will take place once you apply the heat or radiation okay then what you need to do is uh, you will be already having the stirrer okay this is a stirrer and you need to keep stirring this reaction mixture okay you need to keep stirring this mixture and what is observed is uh, as the reaction proceeds between your initiator and monomer the uh, this reaction mixture is there no that become more viscous okay that become more viscous whenever uh, the reaction is initiated between initiator and monomer okay and uh, whenever the viscosity of this reaction mixture increases you find difficult to stir it okay you find difficult in stirring okay and in this case, whatever the polymer you get, no, that will be 100% pure, okay. You will get 100% pure polymer because in this you will be not adding any solvent, correct. You are not adding any additives, right. So, you are just adding the monomer and the initiator and whatever the polymer you get, 
it will be 100% pure okay and also you need to remember during the polymerization process the temperature of the system increases okay okay during the polymerization process what happened to the temperature the temperature of the system increases and also the reaction between them is exothermic okay because of that reason the temperature of the reaction mixture increases okay the reaction between the initiator and a monomer is being a exothermic reaction the temperature of that reaction mixture increases and uh, uh, the polymerization takes place at higher rate Okay, polymerization reaction take place at higher rate or you cannot control the polymerization okay whenever polymerization reaction rate is higher uh, controlling the polymerization reaction is difficult okay in the control of polymerization process is difficult and as a result by using this bulk polymerization you always get the polymer with the higher molecular weight okay you will get the polymer which is 100% pure and also you will get a polymer of higher molecular weight okay higher molecular weight why higher molecular weight polymer is obtained because uh, in this the as the temperature of the system increases the reaction rate between the initiator and monomer increases and you cannot control it okay because of that reason the polymer will be having higher molecular weight okay uh, that is one of the disadvantage because if you want to get the polymer of uh, uh, some certain molecular weight then it is not possible okay you always end up with the polymer of higher molecular weight now if you are talking about the uh, advantage what are the advantage so what are the advantage of uh, this bulk polymerization advantage is that the polymer is pure right the polymer is 100% pure 100% pure okay whatever the polymer you get that is 100% pure and in this uh, you observe that there is no solvent used right solvents are usually a uh, costlier and uh, we avoid a solvent so solvent use is not there solvent use is not there here not involved in this polymerization only the monomer and the initiator nothing else right so that is also advantage then what else is advantage advantage is that you will get the higher molecular weight polymer the higher and that is also a disadvantage okay higher molecular weight molecular weight polymer is obtained okay uh, these are the advantage now if you uh, come to the disadvantage what is the disadvantage this advantage so what is the disadvantage of this uh, bulk polymerization or mass polymerization viscosity of the reaction is increases correct viscosity increases during the polymerization process what happened to the viscosity of the reaction mixture increases once the viscosity increases stirring become difficult correct stirring stirring difficult okay stirring become difficult okay and also the temperature rise cannot be controlled okay the temperature rise during the <coughs> during the reaction cannot be controlled and as a result you end up with a polymer of higher molecular weight okay that means if you want to get the uh, desired molecular weight okay if you want to get the desired molecular weight polymer it is not possible okay it is it is not possible to get correct because you always end up with the higher molecular weight polymer okay these are all disadvantage of uh, the uh, bulk polymerization technique okay if you have any doubt um, in the bulk polymerization technique please let me know in the comment section okay thank you for watching